Today on the channel, we've got a heavy hitter, AEW Jazzwares Ringside Collectibles exclusive, Cody Rhodes. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Jazzwares unboxing and review. But remember, for all your AEW and Jazzwares needs, Mattel, and a whole lot more, hit up ringsidecollectibles.com, use discount code KYLE, save 10%. But today, we're taking a look at the AEW Jazzwares Ringside Collectibles exclusive, Cody Rose. Holy cow, guys, this thing is phenomenal, as you can see in the package. I love the looks of this. I love what the Jazzwares team is doing with the AEW exclusive figures, especially. I also like the packaging on the traditional stuff, but between a little bit of the bubbly, the new Jurassic Express one coming out, of course the Blood Brothers pack, and now this Cody exclusive, we've got some Dynamite exclusives that are basically repaints, variants, whatever you want to call them, but really classed up with extra accessories and just next level packaging that you expect in exclusives. But I, I dare to say they've taken it to the next level. Uh, just an amazing package with this one. Uh, I think a lot of Cody fans out there are going to be picking this one up, that's for sure. And the only place you can get that as of right now, and I think as of ever, will be ringsidecollectibles.com. So if you're on the fence about this one, Get your order in now because you guys know, think back to the Mattel exclusives over the years. They skyrocket once they're out of print or out of distribution via ringside. Uh, they go up, up, up for the majority of them outside of maybe Shield Kurt Angle. But everything else has went skyrocketing. So pick this one up for sure. If you're on the fence, uh, you know, I always say if you're on the fence, pick it up. You can always sell it later and get at least your money back. But you don't want to be uh, second guessing yourself and paying some big time scalper not even scalper prices, just traditional aftermarket prices once this thing's off the shelf. You don't want to do that, so get it now if you can. But we're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging. There's going to be a lot to talk about with the packaging. We're going to talk about that, then we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it, and we'll see where it goes from there. So here it is, a deluxe big packaging, bigger than the Blood Brothers pack as well. It's about double the size uh, width-wise. Just a cool, cool looking package here. Uh, it's Cody, our first representation of the TNT title. I'm sure we will get it eventually in the regular line, uh, but this is your first chance of getting the TNT title, TV title, I should say, from TNT. Uh, so they have this here with Cody representing, uh, what is it? It says on the back here, 523-2020 Jacksonville, Florida. So once again, they continue with that, and we'll talk about that when we get to the back of the package. Uh, but it represents an entrance, almost like an entrance great type figure with the actual entrance attached to it. So this thing displays magically in the box, as you guys can see. Looks just next level. Uh, this is one I had to buy two of. You guys know me. Uh, most of these kind of things I buy two of. And that's kind of my rule with my ringside exclusives. Uh, for Jazzwares, I'm buying two of those going forward. One to keep in box, one to open up. And this is the one I'm going to open. This one had a little bit of a ding on it. The other one was Minty Mint. So I'm keeping that one mint. I'm opening this one up. It worked out for me. Uh, so there you go. But next level. Just absolutely next level here representing the entrance. I love how it's posed in the box. It's just really cool. I think we can all agree. I don't know who would have an issue with how this looks in the package. It just looks amazing. But there you go. There's a little close-up action here. You got the AEW Jazzwares logo up top. What's this say right here? Champion Cody. And it says seven pieces involved in this one. So we got seven pieces. And we'll get to that here in a second. But you can see Cody there. I don't see any paint application issues on this one. Um, but we'll see. We'll investigate once we get it opened up. And you can see the double or nothing background behind him that this represents. So on the side here, there's a picture of Cody. Kind of a little holographicness to it. It reminds me of the old school, oh boy, I'm trying to think. Tops, tops, and they were like refractor cards. Boy, this is we're talking 90s baseball cards. And they were very expensive. They were like $20 a pack back then. Uh, but they were very expensive. That's kind of what that reminds me of. It's got that kind of hue and glow and refractorness to it, as they called it. Then you got the top, you got the AEW logo, a little window box to let the light in. All the warnings, all that fun stuff we don't care about on the bottom. But then this side is genius. I love this. Look at that. So you got the cool reflector off the light surrounding it. But then you got a little window box. Uh, instead of putting all the accessories up front or hiding them, put them in a baggie or something, they are displayed on the side going down. You got two heads, you got a t-shirt, and you got an extra set of hands. Absolutely phenomenal. I love the way they did this. That makes total sense. 
For a lot of collectors out there are mint on card collectors. It gives them an opportunity to see what's in the total package. Could you imagine if these were all in a baggie or in a plastic thing down below the stage in here? You would never know what those heads look like. You'd forget. Uh, it's just really good job. And I don't know anybody that could fault this. I think this is a, a super awesome idea. It doesn't take away from the specialness of the front of the package, uh, but still shows all this stuff on the side. I hope they continue this with other exclusives down the line. I think this is a great idea, and I like seeing that a whole lot. I should mention on the front of this, this would look great for you guys that like to collect autographed uh, figures out there. How awesome would this look with some nice paint, paint pen colors on it? Just look phenomenal autographed. So I'm sure we'll see a few of those uh, in times to come. So be on the lookout. Now the back of this is really interesting. It's almost like you're behind the stage seeing through. Uh, it's got the double or nothing back there. So very cool, but holographic. No uh, no blurbs, no nothing, no explanations really. It tells you the date of the show that this represented. Uh, that That's all you really need. I mean, if you think of most exclusives out there, they're not a part of a line. We even go to back to the Toys R Us exclusives. We unbox some of these Star Wars ones. They don't promote other stuff because it's exclusive. There's nothing to promote with that. Uh, and ringside, uh, you know, they're just having their logo on here. So you got ringside, AEW, Jazzwares logo, double or nothing. Uh, very, very solid. I like the back of this one. Very, very plain Jane, uh, but you expect that in an exclusive. So I can't rave much. I mean, this box gets a five out of five stars. I mean, this is an amazing box. It, it, this is one of those ones that hurts me to open. Even though I already have one, uh, it hurts me to open this. But, you know, it must be done for science, like we say. So we got it open on the side. Let's see, <clears throat> see if I can open this without totally destroying it. So there you go, just the package here. You got a little window. Hey, everybody. There it is. You can see me right through it, so that's kind of cool. But we got to go. See you later. Kind of gently off to the side. A little gently. How about a little plastic prison? I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. Hmm. Plastic prison action right there. Old Cody. So very cool. I can see people keeping this and having this as a display. Maybe with your loose figures. It's kind of a background. It's a display. You know the AEW crew, they're going to have a big old display uh, one of these days. A big stage entrance, all that kind of stuff. And I'm pretty sure it'll be like this. It'll be that nice glossy cardboard. If you guys remember back, Wicked Cool Toys is a part of Jazzwares now. They were making those. They were sold on ringside. You get a SmackDown and a Raw entrance stage, a crowd. You're going to see that for AEW. I guarantee we're going to see that in the future. So be ready for that. Let's see. Can I, Oh, so here we go. This is uh, pretty cool right here. The heads and all this just pull right out in a sleeve. How cool is that? I like that a lot. Just a whole sleeve of them right here. Soft Goods, American Nightmare. That's what interests me the most right here. Comes with a cardboard inside that holds the shirt into place. Keeps its form. Makes sure it's not loose or it doesn't fall out. Look at that. Just a little cardboard backing. Very smart. That's something they didn't have to do, but they're looking out for the mint on card collector because if this didn't have anything in it, it could slide, it could get shoveled, it could move around. Little attentions to details like this I do appreciate. And it's funny how they do great attention to detail on something like this, but how Series 1 got through under the radar uh, with the skin tone issue. That's been fixed. That's kind of old news now. They've, they've chugged along. They're re-releasing Series 1, but I like that a lot. Another thing I really like of this one is this is basically a uh, variant repaint of the, of the latest Cody that's uh, starting to hit shelves now with the Series 4, I believe this is. Uh, it's this Cody, but the beautiful thing here, you can make this a totally different figure. It's the same figure repainted, but you get all these extra heads. So I can use two of the other heads instead of this one to make it totally a different Cody. That is awesome. I like that a whole lot, uh, and that's my plan. I just got to decide which head to use. Um, it looks like this is the Series 1 Cody head uh, with the correct skin tone color. I'll probably use this really angry head because it is different than the smiling head, which I think the smiling head is the best. That's the one I have on that Series 4 Cody, uh, but I'll probably use this one on this one. That's at least my plan. That's how my brain's working. Uh, but I like this a lot. We got two fists with this one as well. For you extra hand guys out there. All right, now this is where things are going to get complicated. How do I get him out of here without destroying... Now, these fire flame things are very interesting. Okay, so you look at the bottom here. Look at this. So the flames fire here. We've got the little fire going up. But they are pegged in here down below. So I think I can get these out, and I think we might be able to keep these. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Trusty fig knife here. Thanks to my uh, good brother Sambro hooking me up with this. This is what we got to do, some delicate work. 
We'll cut this out maybe because I don't want to rip the rip the pegs on this thing. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I haven't seen anybody unbox one of these things yet. And as you guys know, I don't like to see people unbox things before I do. I want to give my first impression and my thoughts. Uh, after I do my video, I'll check out other people. And every once in a while, I'm like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Oh, yeah, I didn't even realize that. Okay, so there you go. So pop this out. I don't know. I feel like you can make this stand on its own somehow. I don't know. I'm keeping these to the side. I feel like there's a way I can display these. Maybe it's just like this. I don't know. Yeah, that's not going to work. It needs to be bent more. I don't know. I think there's a way to salvage these. I, these would be great to use for anything. Any kind of figure photography. Uh, you can put it next to your cane figure in your Mattel collection. But I think there's a way to save these. I'm not going to destroy them. I'm not going to throw them. I'm going to try to figure something out with those. That's my plan. At least right now. All right. Let's get Cody out. I'm trying to figure out how to even get this Cody out. Um, it's not the traditional... It's not the traditional you just push in the back and pop them out. It's more of a, I think going in through the legs and grabbing by the feet might be the best choice here. At least that's the way I'm going in. There it is. I think I was successful. I think that was the way to do it. All right, Cody's free. Now I get the belt out. Maybe. There it is. All right, there it is. Plastic prison. I like this background too. I think that is really cool, a bit see-through. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to hold on to it and dissect it and try to figure out what my plan is for it. But we'll see you later off to the side. All right, let's take a look at the belt real fast first. Phenomenal belt here. A little big, maybe. Let's see. I'm going to clamp it together first. I don't know. how. Yeah, it does look a hair big to my eye, but I still like it. You don't get the red straps very often, so it's got the red strap and the very uh, nickel-plated. I don't know if that's right. Silver. Very silver, TNT champion, AEW, a lot of detail to this belt. A fabulous looking belt. And you know we're going to get this multiple times in the future, but this will be the first time we get it. So you got it here with this Cody, so we got to like that a whole lot. Yeah, a fabulous belt. I like this a lot. Very cool to get it in this exclusive. Speaking of first times getting things, oh boy, old Cody went to the tattoo shop. Got that tattoo on the side of his uh, neck. Uh, this is his first figure, I believe, represented with this. Um... I think, is there a Chase? I think the new Chase one from Series 4. I believe that might have uh, this on the side. But we know going forward, all the Cody's we get will have that. Uh, I got one complaint here I'm seeing. So it's not all uh, pros, pros here. There's a few cons. And it seems like it continues. These very weak elbow joints on these Jazzwares figure. Series 4 really struggled. About every single figure had that. Where it's just way too loose here. If you put any pressure on this arm, you're going to break that arm off from the elbow joint. Uh, it's just not tight enough. Uh, I hope they fix that in future releases. Same thing on this one. If you're a kid playing with this, these figures, I can see these arms breaking off all the time. And once it goes off, it really never goes back on correctly again. So yeah, it is. But you got your double jointed. It's got all the stuff, the, all the bells and whistles we've had before. But yeah, that just worries me. I just, I'm lucky I don't play with my toys, I guess, uh, anymore. I display them, shoot them, put them in the case. That's where they go. But yeah, that's unfortunate. That seems to continue. I hope Series 5 or at least Series 6 that's uh, fixed. Because that is not, uh, not something you want. You don't want arms breaking off. He does have uh, the wrapping that we are used to. Uh, it's getting better. Uh, you know, it was ungodly in the package before. We still, like the Orange Cassidy one, we've talked about that one in the past, how you could basically see it later. Uh, it looked like he had a plastic bag over his head. You don't want to go that extreme. But I understand wanting to protect it. Uh, you know, Mattel's got a lot of headaches through the years with bleeding of color and stuff like that. So I think Jazzwares is noting that and saying we don't want any option of that happening to us. Uh, I don't know if it necessarily would with this. I don't know if it's to keep this kind of going in. Um, I'm not sure. Paint-wise, looking this thing over, I only see a little bit on his butt right there. There's a little purple spot right on Cody's butt. I was checking it out. Looking at that fine butt on Cody Rhodes. Uh, yeah, he's got one little spot there. Nothing bad. I'd rather have a paint imperfection on the back than the front, that's for sure. One thing I do notice with his belt, his weight belt or whatever, uh, it does show Cody versus Archer, AEW Championship. So that is a cool nod uh, special to this pack is what it represents. That is a cool attention to detail. Is uh, A lot of toy companies out there wouldn't give that much attention to detail. They might give you the belt, but maybe not the actual thing that was on the back of the belt. So I like that a whole lot as well. 
He does have his dream tattoo on his chest as well. I didn't mention that. And then he's got his tattoo that's on the side. He's got it on the side of his boots, his white boots. The silver and purple go great together. Those are two colors that look really good together, and I'm glad uh, he went with this outfit. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Let me pop this head off real quick. I'm going to give him that screaming face I said I was going to give him. For the glamour shots, we'll put all the, we'll put all the heads on him. Uh-oh. Is it going to come off you? There it is. We'll put all the heads on for the glamour shots, see how, how they look and which one looks best, but... Yeah, there we go. I don't know. I'm definitely using a different head than this Cody, though. That's for sure. I mean, you can't have two of the same head there. You got to make them different. Put the point of difference, even if they are a, a repaint. But boy, fabulous. And you guys know with these Jazzwares figures, you can pop all the parts off and switch them around if you want to. So you can kind of mix and match and make however you want. Uh, another a genius idea by the Jazzwares team. How about we pull out a couple other Cody's, too? Here's Cody from the first series that we had, the Pale Cody. The I Like Turtles Cody, and then the repaint of this one for the Blood Brothers pack. An amazing set, this Blood Brothers one. Anytime you get blood on a wrestling figure, I like it, except for those ones that came out in the 90s that had like Ivan Putsky and all the Legends bloody variants. I, I didn't like those at all. Those are probably my least favorite figures ever. I don't own any of them. But man, this Cody, absolutely solid. Lining up all the Cody's here together. What do you guys think? I guess it's time for you guys to tell me in the comments. Did you pass on this? Did you get two of these? Did you get one? What are your thoughts? Have you got yours? Have you unboxed it? What do you think about it? I think I love the way they're taking basically simple repaints and taking them to the next level as exclusives. It'll be interesting if there's going to be an exclusive for every single set. I'm not sure if that's kind of the way it's going to go, but it very well could. Uh, the, the future for Jazzwares is so bright, they probably got to wear shades at this point. Uh, it does worry me, though, Going down the Jax line, you guys know I know my Jax. I've been around since the Jax days and long before. It does worry me as I see some things going, I don't want to say in the direction I don't like. I love it. More wrestling figures, the better usually. We're going to get another line outside of Unmatched, Unrivaled. We'll have those. We'll have the exclusives. We'll have chases, which I do approve of the change on the chases going to more. I think that's great. But I think people are going to lose their mind once the world gets back to normal. And the San Diego Comic Cons of the world and New York Toy Fairs come back. And I guarantee it, we're going to see one of 100s, one of 25s. It's going to make people pull their hair out. Uh, the track record's there. All signs are pointing that's the future. Uh, we'll probably see that. That's my guess. Uh, it'll be interesting, too, when the GameStops of the world get involved uh, with Jazzwares. And Amazon, we start being able to get those figures on there, the exclusives they may have. We've already seen leaked images of a barbed wire accessory set. We saw leaked images of a four-pack. Uh, it'll be really interesting where those things go. I don't know where that four pack's going to go. For, for some reason, I saw that and I immediately thought it would be an Amazon exclusive or a GameStop exclusive to kind of kick the line off uh, at one of those places. I don't know. I could be wrong. But a lot to like about these AEW Jazzwares figures. And I talk about it on the channel all the time. You got AEW coming out with great figures. You got uh, Mattel coming out with great figures. We got Super 7 with Japan and Matt and Brian figures. Uh, all ships are getting raised here. And the competition is there. And, and I don't want to say feuding between the brands. But you know they pay attention and try to one-up each other. And who ends up winning when that happens? It's us, the consumers. Uh, it just goes in any industry, in any kind of business. So it truly is the golden age for figures, and it's very simple. If you don't like something, don't buy it. Vote with your wallet, and if enough people agree, things will get changed, and uh, things will get improved if you're not liking what you see. But there it is, the AEW Jazzwares Ringside Collectibles exclusive Cody Rhodes, a solid, solid figure. So my ask of you guys is, like the video, leave me your comment. I always like to hear what you guys think about these things. But then subscribe to the channel as well. We're dangerously close to 7,000 subscribers. We keep growing every single day. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Follow me on social media, at SirPaul64 on Twitter. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And then, of course, below the collar.com. Uh, be the most stylish guy or gal in your neighborhood and get your very own see you later t-shirt and then remember use discount code kyle save 10 percent at ringsidecollectibles.com so for the cody family the nightmare family right here i'm kyle see you guys all real soon